We're live. Who's the trivia about tonight? Uh, it's Killer Trivia, Cement Shoes, and good evening. Left-handed RN, good evening. Welcome to Trivia Night. Tonight is Killer Trivia. The 30 questions on notorious criminals and crimes. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, Left-handed RN. Molly, good morning, love, or afternoon, evening. Welcome to True Crime Trivia. Scary Nona, greetings, welcome. I both hope you both had a wonderful weekend. I get my answer key out, otherwise I certainly ain't gonna know what, what the answers are, will I? I don't get the answer key out. Do you happen to remember what what date Israel Key's trivia was on? I wanted to go back and watch it. Get um off my lawn keys was one of my, my best ones ever. Uh, no, I don't remember right off the top of my head, but if you give me a minute, cement shoes, I'll look. Let's see, live. Do, 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 do. Spooky, scary. So it's had to be before Halloween. Hmm. What does the description of this one say? Oh, that just says crimes. Was it a specific one? Just keys, huh? At JJL, we have a new perspective on how to we'll address the season. Um, Smith Shoes. Here, this is the playlist for past. Um, that's the playlist. You, you know, it says host. That's me. I'm the host. Um, but that's the playlist for past trivia nights. So you don't have to search through them all. That's just trivia. I don't have it right offhand. I, I didn't uh, title it the Israel Keys. At least I'm pretty bad at, at that. I just I live. I live from like this one here. You know, for tonight is just killer trivia. All the killer trivia's are labeled killer trivia music. Music, um, unless it was like the Halloween special or Ted Bundy. You know, and some of them have names, but generally I just list list them as. Um, Killer trivia. Sorry. I so I do not remember exactly which one it was. I think it was in August. It very well could have been in August, sir. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's see, we got music. Um, that's just that label trivia. Israel Keys, there it is. I found it. Let's 
All right, I found it. Here it is. This is the Israel Keys one. See, it's uh, I, if you. I don't know if you guys are seeing the overlay here, um, and the, the other stream. I don't know what's actually being displayed on your guys' end. You should see the the overlay itself. It says four woman. Now there's like an actual thing you can click on there. Otherwise, it's going to show me as host in the comment section. <coughs> that was a good topic for a future trivia trivia night. Leonard Lake and Charles Ning. Leonard Leonard and Charles would, would definitely be a good one. I've also thought about doing one on um Leopold and and was it Leopold and, and Lou? The what 1920s? The two uh, two guys that wanted to commit the, the perfect murder. I thought about doing one on on them as well. <clears throat> see, I have a. You guys can see this, but these these are the scripts that I have I, that I already have written out. I have to put put them into um, the display teletype in front front of me. But these ones, so these ones are on indigenous women who were been murdered. I don't know if that's going to focus on that, but it says cold case. These are cold case murders that, that I've been studying. Started from 1960 through 2010. But let's see, Leo, I think it's Leopold. I can't remember the other guy's name, but I have him in here somewhere. Terrible at this. I'm so I'm so disorganized this week. It's trying to get any, anything together. It's just like nothing. also a hillside strangler and a toolbox murder. Very creepy cases with uh, tag teams. Toolbox killers. I could definitely. Uh, well, if I if I did the hillside strangler, are you talking about Richard Ramirez? For the hillside, because the, the hillside, there's like two or three different killers. They actually call the hillside strangler, or the you know the hillside rapist. You know, any anyone know about Albert Fish, the serial killer? Bliss off, yeah, yeah. Fish was a weird guy. When they when they went to go electrocute him, he had what a couple dozen needles hidden all over his body. Yeah, but he's deaf. And welcome to the to the stream tonight. He'll bliss bliss off blissed off. Sorry, didn't mean didn't mean to mispronounce that. Blissed off. No, I think uh, their names were Bianca and Bruno. Okay, that Bianca and Bruno with the other hill, hillside strangler. Todd um, couple would uh, be interesting too. Amazon reviews killer. Now, the Amazon review killer, he was not, not too long ago. Leopold and Loeb. Thank you, Brooks. And good evening, Brooks. It, uh, Leopold and, and Loeb. They wanted to commit the perfect murder. But they even even they, they thought they were so smart that they would they'd be able to get away with it. But they were just every time they turned everything they were around, they 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 thought too highly of themselves, basically. That's what tripped them up. They could get away with it. Hillside Stranglers were cousins. Three guys in a hammer. Jeffrey Dahmer really named um, his fish Albert. Albert? <laughs> Did he? Jeffrey Dahmer. I've done I've done a, a trivia night on Dahmer on the, the that playlist that I linked for past trivia nights. Uh, I've done one on Dahmer and Gacy, Bundy, Elaine Wernos. Uh, I, I, I tell you the truth, I've lost track of, of just how many we've, we've done. 
this is like the, I want to say the 36th or 37th um, killer uh, trivia night. And that's not counting like the Father's Day special, the Halloween special. Diana Bowman, good evening. Welcome to, to the trivia night. All right, we're going to jump into the into this tonight. Uh, so, like last time, I won't be on one side. Trivia questions will be on the other side. Sure. And we turn the overlay off. There we go. That's question number one. Which serial killer enjoyed dressing up as a clown and working charity events? Was it A, Ted Bundy, B, John Wayne Gacy, C, Ian Brady, or D, Dennis Rader? And the first question here, the way that it's formatted and it's laid out there, there's something with the with how I have it actually structured. The first one's always jacked up for some reason it moves all it, it doesn't follow the format it pushes everything to the left you know on the for the top and pushes everything to the to tries to center it for the bottom i don't know what it is but it, none of the other ones are going to look like this you know in this sloppy bb blist left-handed brooks getting nona diana bowman and starfire good evening starfire welcome to the, the trivia night i hope you had a wonderful weekend a lot of people are going with B, John Wayne Gacy. Well, question number one, the correct answer is B, John Wayne Gacy. Bonus points for anybody who knows what his alter ego of the clown was. Anybody know the name of it, of, of his of his character, the, the clown? I'm sure, quite a few of you, you know that one. We'll see who's the first one to chime in. What was John Wayne Gacy's clown character's name? What did he call his clown? Huh, see, it's cement shoes. Boom, Pogo. Pogo the clown. It is correct, sir. Pogo the clown. I will, and Cheddar's good vibes. Good vibes it is. All right, question number two. I know that's, that's small. So what I might have to do is, is minimize my screen and, and open the other one up. So like this. So it, it makes it a lot easier to read on your, your end, especially if for those who are on cell phones. Because quite a few of them are going to be like this, where it's smaller print at the top. And But this is question number two. The St. Valentine's Day Massacre is associated with which famous criminal? A. Capone, B. Dillinger, C. Moran, or D. Brady? Hi, Hazel. Good evening. Welcome to Trivia Night, Hazel. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Thank you for joining us tonight. Okay. Where's that stupid thing? There it is. All right, I'm still here. I have not gone anywhere. A Capone, A A Nancy Drew. Good evening, Nancy Drew. I hope you had a wonderful and relaxing weekend. Thank you for joining us tonight for trivia. All thirty questions tonight are on killer trivia. Watch the three-part series on Edmund Kemper, so I should be an expert on him, LOL. 
I, I think Ed Kemper is probably one of the most fascinating serial killers you know, that's, that's ever been out there. I mean, you have to think about who he killed and, and when he did it, you know, with the co-eds and how he was able to, you know, just his sheer size intimidate these women. They had no idea that he was going to kill them, but uh, they quickly found out, didn't they? I think Ed, Ed Kemper is definitely, you know, He's a lot more interesting to me than, say, Bundy. So, this is fun. I'm glad you enjoyed it so far, Bliss. All right, question number two. The correct answer is A. A. St. Valentine's Day Massacre is associated with which famous criminal? That is A. Al Capone. Pippa Dot. Good evening. Welcome to Trivia Night. All right, question number three. Which man was the most prolific known serial killer in the United States history with a confirmed total of 93 women, but maybe as, well, it doesn't say maybe, but maybe as, as many as 119? Is it Dahmer, Bundy, Ridgeway, or Little? Kemper is more complex and honest person than Bundy. Yeah. Well, you, you have to also realize that even the interviews and stuff like that with him at the state, you know, um, psychiatric hospital and now in prison, a lot of those, he's manipulating the person who he's talking to. So you have to, you have to go in knowing that when you watch his, his interviews and um, listen to him talk, he does come across as pretty, you know, be honest though, but He's a he's a master manipulator, just like you know most serial killers. He is one of three people who is who is um has the title of co-ed killer. Stone Domer. Good evening. Welcome to the Tribune Night. Hmm. It's three seventeen AM in England. Is that a gingerbread man who's been decapitated? <laughs> That's cool. I'm, just, I'm trying to focus on what your your um, profile picture is. That poor gingerbread man. <laughs> this is a trick question because these are serial killers and confirmed kills. And we haven't uh, solved um, the Long Island serial killer. And we don't know... Um, everything about the Golden State Killer did. Well, that's true. But this 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 individual who is on, we're looking for the answer here on which one of them has, they've confirmed that he has killed 93. They believe that he may have killed a, a, around 119. But he says he's killed 119. Uh, D. Samuel Uto says Skedinona. Or what Israel Keys did. <laughs> All right. The, the answer for question number three is D. Samuel Little. Let's stop the keyword is known. Yep. All right. Question number four. Trying to turn the stupid camera on. You have to bear with me. I'm trying to move it from one monitor to another here. And I keep on moving the mouse up the wrong direction. There we go. Question number four. Which serial killer claimed that a demonic dog commanded him to commit murder? Is it A, Lori Vallow, 
B, Chad Daybell, C, David Berkowitz, or D, Dennis Rader. Which serial killer claimed that a demonic dog commanded him to commit murder? Good evening, Reichardt. You're in Upper Sandusky, Ohio, Eastern Standard Pond tonight. I got um, an early delivery tomorrow morning. Love, guys. Uh, God bless Will. Well, God bless you too, right, Car? You stay safe out there and drive, drive safe, buddy. Darlene, why? Good evening and welcome to Trivia Night. List off V <laughs> question mark silly. <laughs> bliss off bliss. <laughs> Which serial killer claimed that a demonic dog commanded him to commit murder? The correct answer is C, as in cat, David Berkowitz. If I can move my, there we go. Hey, I, I did it. Question number five. How long did it take to exonerate the Central Park Five of rape? Was it A, 10 years? B, 50 years, C, 13, or D, 9. How long did it take to exonerate the Central Park Five of rape? 10 years, 50, 13, or 9? I know I know. this is not really a, a, a killer trivia question. It's not a killer Nobody died in this one. Doesn't really fit with it. Hey, y'all. Good evening, Jess. Welcome to the trivia night. I'm late, but I'm here until I pass out. <laughs> Patricia Daly, good evening, and welcome to trivia night. I'm glad you could be here with us. How long did it take to exonerate the Central Park Five? This is such a frustrating case, even though not a serial killer case. Yeah. Nobody died, but they had their lives stolen. Freya... Freya Dragon, love the name, Freya Dragon, that's a cool name. Welcome to Trivia Night, I'm glad you could be here with us. I hope you had a wonderful week and weekend. I had, I had, a, I had a dog that uh, oh, was, that we uh, we named uh, Freya. Sadly, she, she passed away about a year ago. She was a good, such a great dog. She was a... Uh, German Shepherd and um, um, Border Collie mix. She was born um, with the, she had issues from birth on, but she was a good dog. We spelled it the same way. All right, the correct answer is C as in cat. 13 years. The 16-year-old spent 13 years in prison before he was exonerated and finally released from prison. 
aged at 29 years of age. He was tried as an adult, but 13 years is the correct answer. I'm sorry to hear about your fur baby. Thank you, blissed off. We ended up, we actually lost uh, four dogs um, in in the span of a year and a half. My 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 lucky is is over here on the shelf right right there. I don't know if you can see it. <clears throat> there it is. I'm trying to move the stupid cursor around. It, it, he's right. So this, you see this sign? There's a the white jar right there. Is that's my my dog? That's my lucky. All right, I'll go back to this format. There it is. Okay. Question number six: Sharon Tate was murdered by which criminals? A. The Manson family. B. The Bundy family. C. The Moore family. Or D, the Cuckoo family. I got it right because I watched uh, the documentary not long ago. It was good. Yeah, it, it is, Jess. None of us gets out of this alive. They, they all had great lives, though. I always look... Good evening, Karen. They, they, um, all of them had, you know, they were born either death or they... Two of them were, were um, blind. Well, one could... One was 100% blind. The other, one, it, the other one could see some kind of the shadows they figure, but... They all had they all had better lives than they would have had anywhere else. Um, but hey, there's inner peas, the Adams family. Da 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 da. Not so much. Yeah, the Adams family. Da 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 da. 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 Sharon Tate was murdered by which which uh, criminal criminals? The correct answer is A. The Manson family. One of these days, I'm going to actually finally do the video that I've been telling people about for about a year and a half on Sharon Tate. I reside in the same same town where she went to high school before they moved um, to Germany. But, you know, and there's so there's very few things that are left. And we've shot the, we've shot the video for it. We've gone to the places where her and her friends used to hang out, um, you know, after school and on the weekends, you know, and we've got all the footage it's all shot. I, I've downloaded it to my, you know, my, my hard drive. I just, ha I just have never gotten to the point where I've been able to edit it, you know, and put it all together. It's one of those things on my, it's on my list of, you know, here on my desk to actually get done. Yeah, it, it's, it's one of those things, um, Jess, I keep on saying, I'm, I mean, for a year and a half now, I've been saying, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it done. I'm going to get it done. And. It just keeps on moving off while I try to keep up with other cases that are that, you know, that I have on my desk now, and then of course you know that that, that keeps on stacking up. <coughs> it's a very interesting. It's going to be a very interesting video once I ever get it done. All right, question number seven: Giggling Granny. Killed numerous members of her family with poison. How many did she kill? Was it A, 11, B, 8, C, 6, or D, 
12. The Giggling Granny. Do I have a way to donate? Um, like monetarily to me? Yeah, they're. I mean, um, I'm terrible. At, I never ask for it to, to, you know, to be honest with you, because I know that you know, and especially now, in the, in this world, you know, people are, are kind of, you know, um, not enough money to go around for everybody. But I, I just don't ask for it. But yes, there, um, in the video, um, not in this one because obvious restream. I haven't, I haven't even put the links into the video description. But in every video, or if you go to my dashboard of like, you know, where it's a community about subscriptions and stuff like that, there's a link at the top next to the banner of the page. Um, I could try to drop the link in, but yeah, it takes me a minute though. Welcome, Elaine Ann. Good evening. Hi, Will, and everybody. Good evening. Hmm. D. Whatever cement she. <laughs> Good evening. Cement. Whatever cement shoe says. Giggling Granny, how many of her fa of her actual family members did she kill? She killed a lot. She killed a lot of them. All right. There you go. There's the the, the PayPal. Um, Patreon. For those who are interested in Patreon. I don't do I don't do anything else uh, you know like I don't use cash app or Venmo or any of those other ones just don't they don't uh, to each their own I mean every one of them has a different fee structure uh, I've, I've used PayPal since well back when eBay first came open I actually had a chance to buy stock in it and I was like nah I don't know about this PayPal thing I actually turned it down could have bought shares in PayPal. Would have been, would have been filthy rich if I, if I would have invested money in it back when it first came open. But I didn't. Good evening, Jeannie. Jenny. Parnell Cox. So glad that you, you're here tonight. I was going to be so sad. Oh, no, I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, yeah, Jess, um, yeah, it, uh, the, for like a, for Super Chat, um, but they have a new one that's coming out too. I'm not kidding. Because if somebody thinks of a better widget or a better tool, YouTube takes that widget or better tool and they will find a way to, you know, clone it, make it their own and then offer it. They have a new, new feature is coming out where you can actually, I, I can't remember what they call it. It's kind of like a super chat, but it's actually on videos that have been released. You can now, when it, it finally rolls out around the world, that's going to be here shortly. But because they took that from um, from uh, Facebook, they figured out Facebook was making money, you know, with people being able to do that. 
So, uh, but the fee structure for Super Chat versus PayPal donation, it's about um, 9% difference. It depends on, excuse me, it depends on how, what kind of card the, the person is actually using. If they're doing PayPal, the PayPal transfer, it's a heck of a lot less than if they're using a card to actually make the donation. There you go, Interpeace. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it. And click it twice if you don't like it. All right. The Giggling Granny, question number seven. How many members of her family did she poison? The correct answer is A, 11. 11 members of her own family. Cement Shoes, best name on, on YouTube. I, I, I met a guy today earlier on YouTube. His entire channel is just a period. The, you know, just a, the, you know, like for the end of a sentence, just a period. That's the name of his channel. And I'm like, how do you, how does anybody ever find you? They hit the hit a period on the, on the keyboard. Why would you call your channel that? But that's the name of his, his channel and everything. He does automotive repair. Apparently, he didn't really care about how how it, you know, it works or looks. Cessna 101. How's the knee? Yeah, it's up and down pain-wise. Um, the discomfort and swelling has gone down a little. So that's good news. All right. Question number eight. Oop, I went past it. Sorry. Well, you got a sneak preview of question nine. <laughs> Question number eight, which serial killer kept victims' heads in his freezer? Was it A, Dahmer, B, Bundy, C, BTK, or D, Dennis Rader? What was the name of the lady that po poisoned the chocolates? Uh, I'm drawing a blank right now on, on that one. Sent them to herself. <laughs> what was the name of the lady that poisoned the chocolates? A, but I'm following the crowd. E. E. Six. Christopher Watts had chicken in the freezer. <laughs> that poor man. He's such an idiot. The Tylenol poisoning case from the early eighties. I, I I did a video on that cement shoes. The, the Tylenol uh, tampering case, the guy that they uh, they believe did it. There have been subsequent copycats of it, too, that they've caught. People trying to put uh, tampered bottles back on, on the shelf. It's happened a couple of times since then. Last time that they caught somebody tampering or trying to return a, you know, a tampered uh, or put a tampered item back on the shelf. I think it was like the early 1990s in California. But I, I did a video on that. It's been a while, though. 
fact that, that someone even thought to uh, do that in the first place. Well, I, he, I think he, he did it originally to try to throw the authorities off for um, the, a murder or something else that he did. I can't remember. It's been a while. But he wanted to, they wanted to look, make it look like, oh, it was just an accident because they, you know, here's the stuff that was tampered, you know, with it on the, on the store shelves. I know, the, I know um, Tylenol, the company, sued the living crap out of this guy. He actually made a, wrote a book about it and everything. You know, like it, it, kind of like the O.J. Simpson book, like if, if I did it. But, yeah. All right. Who kept free, uh, heads in their freezer? The correct answer is A. A is an apple. Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, now we get to see question number nine again. Remember that um, that one um, inner piece thought uh, it was solved. Scary. How did Andre Kehoe kill forty three people at school in nineteen twenty seven? Was it A a stabbing, B a shotgun, C fire, or D a firebomb? Well, fi C fire, D bomb. Tip it. He did it all because he lost his reelection. This is true. He went nuts because he, he did not get reelected to, to office. How did how did Andre Kehoe kill forty three people at a school in 19, 1927? That's why C and D from question eight made me laugh. Same guy, yeah, it was. Down that rabbit hole. A mountain lion. <laughs> Capture a mountain lion and then let it loose in a school. <laughs> Hazel says bomb. D, D, C, D. Well, the answer to question number nine, ladies and gentlemen, is D. Bomb. He he went absolutely freaking off the rails and started bombing his own community. All right, question number 10. Ted Kaczynski earned the nickname for himself. Which nickname did he earn for himself? Was it A, the Carpet Killer, B, the Unabomber, C, the Pan Am Killer, or D, Mr. Bugle? Bath School Massacre, yep. No, he, it, it did. I think he, I think, I think he actually lit, there was, there was a, um, a bomb, <coughs> excuse me, and then he used dynamite, and then um, he, then he, he, you know, after the, the the explosions and the fire that subsequently happened from that, then he he stood there and he, and he uh, waited for people to try to run out and and leave, and then he shot them. But he, all the students were killed by a bomb. Good evening, Mike. Mike Stevens, cement shoes. Good vibes. Good evening. Welcome to the trivia night, Mike. 
I hope you've been well. I'm glad you could be here with us tonight. Ted Kaczynski earned which nickname for himself? Was it A, the carpet carpet killer, B, the Unabomber, C, Pan Am killer, or D, Mr. Bugle? He killed his wife first. Then he blew up, blew up the bomb and stood out front um, in, with a wind heater rifle picking off the survivors. Absolutely true. Stone, stoned Domer, 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 sorry. There's nobody watching from Reddit yet. I'm trying, I'm, so uh, with this news, this is only the what, third or fourth time that I've been able to use, I've used a uh, restream. And I'm, I'm streaming, you know, and I posted the code, you know, the um, the link. Nobody's clicked on it yet over on Reddit. It's probably, I keep on checking my phone. I'm trying trying different, different things, you know, YouTube, um, streaming to YouTube, you know, obviously, to Twitter, to Facebook. To you know, wherever you know, trying to find an audience for people who who will enjoy these uh, trivia nights. But, all right. So, what nickname did Ted Kaczynski earn for himself? He earned B, as in boy, the Unabomber. Question number eleven: What prison sentence did Lewis? Gravitito received for murdering 139 boys in Colombia. Was it A, death, B, 100 counts of death, C, 30 days in jail, or D, 30 years? Where did that awful 1927 thing happen? Never heard uh, a story so awful when back in, in those days. Um, Bath? The bath, the bath massacre. And Twitter. I tried, I tried uh, uh, blissed off. I tried Twitter last week, posting the you know the um the link there, and streaming to Twitter. But they didn't get. Re I got like think three people who, who enjoyed it. You know or. or three people who watched it or clicked on it but I'm, I'm trying there's got to be more of an more of an audience out there i mean even if, you, even if you don't like my content at least you can you know if you click on it and then actually decide for yourself that you don't like it instead of just listening to other people tell you that you don't like it he makes gacy seem mild it's a horrible story yeah Blissed off Reddit. <laughs> oh, that's my Reddit. Yeah, I'm on there quite a bit. The front page of the internet. Uh, you, I'm usually in uh, the uh, the r slash uh, serial killer. I'm in there a lot. Um, I don't post a, a whole lot to my own my own um, page. My own subreddit. Um, I have one. I don't. I don't post to it a whole lot because I, I, you know, I, I try to help. Um, I started off on Reddit and kind of a long side story, but short condensed version is <clears throat> I was helping another channel, another another creator get started on YouTube, put the channel together, make videos. Um, and helping them do everything else. And then I was trying to help them set up uh, social media that, you know, for links to what they were interested in and, and what presence they wanted. And I've done this with several um, channels over the course of the last three years. And right around, probably about two dozen, actually. But 
uh, then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to hang out here on Reddit and see what's going on and what people are talking about. And I've had some really interesting conversations with people on Reddit. You know, but there's also a lot of people on Reddit who just think that they are know the ev they know everything, but they don't know anything. They're just basically cut and pasting, you know, articles from the internet and waiting for people to give them a thumbs up. So, but it's interesting. though. I still find it in that that interesting. And if, and then I'm I'm also on the Charlie Project a lot, you know, and a couple of the other. Um, missing cold case um websites and, and pages yeah this is all i do i feel like some days i never leave here <laughs> all right what prison sentence did lewis gravit gravitito however you pronounce that receive for murdering 139 boys in Colombia? he got d as in dog 30 years 30 years. Yes, in the 60s, he climbed the uh, um, tower and had um, been a Marine um, sharpshooter, unfortunately. Who's that, Cement Shoes? Oh, Whitman. 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 Yeah, well. For a Marine, you have to qualify. You have to. All right, next one. Where is it? There it is. Question number 12. Andrew Kehoe committed all his crimes in short order. Who was his first victim? If you were reading the actual comment section earlier, the answer was posted. In the comment section, Charles Whitman, yeah, was it his first victim his son, B his daughter, C his wife, or D his dog? A clue for this one is his wife Nellie never had a son. Too bad uh, no one thought to show Whitman a box of crayons. <laughs> it's stone, stone dollar. That's funny. Uh, well, being a you know a marine myself, um, <laughs> I've heard all the jokes over the years. I've heard them all. It, it's funny. Come on. We're, we're all we're all having fun here. I didn't take any offense to it. Never heard a Charles Whitman joke before. <laughs> Left handed RNs going with C. Andrew Kehoe committed all his crime in short order. Who was his first victim? The correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is C. He killed his wife. Before he started on his rampage of terror, his wife was the fir his first victim. All right, question number 13. How did mobster John Gotti die? Was it A, stabbed to death, B, cancer, C, hail of bullets, or D, hit and run car accident? <laughs> and a piece <of> fries. <laughs> Tell me another joke about Whitman. I don't know any any jokes about Whitman. Sorry. I think I think I think a joke was more of a, you know that the crayons is you know it's more of a um, of a of a joke about Marines. I mean, of course, he was a Marine, but. 
you don't get the the box of crayons joke. Oh, uh, it it it's basically making fun of the intelligence of Marines that were just a bunch of jarheads who you know um, mindless killing machines. I mean, it's basically true, but that we're so we're not. They, it, it's a, making fun of the intelligence of them. Say you know, and the joke is that we eat crayons and we're only you know smart enough to use crayons. It, there's different variations to it, but it, basically, it's a joke on on the intelligence of of Marines. Was crazy. Well, I mean, definitely crazy. He was did, he was going through a you know um, a mental crisis at the time, but for sure, but. What does Marine stand for? It's a branch of service. Like we, we here in the United States, we have the Army, we have Navy, we have the Marine Corps. They're you know um, the Navy and the Marine Corps are underneath the same, but then you have the Air Force, Army, and then the branches of military service in the United States. United States Marine Corps. This joke is. Is that the uh, Marines have any uh, intelligence? Correct. Mindless killing machines. I mean, it's basically true. I mean, Whitman was a Marine. Uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was a Marine. I mean, and you know, so it wasn't the. the I'm sure there's, there's quite a few others. Wasn't the guy who was with um, um, Mulvo, wasn't he a Marine too? Or a Marine sniper? Or, or was it maybe the Mulvo? I, could, I can't remember, man, those, the, the two, the, that case all too well. I haven't really studied it all that much. He had a giant brain tumor. They found it in his autopsy. He left um, a letter saying he thought uh, something was wrong with his head. If that letter's around, it's probably in the crime museum in San Francisco. They've got a huge collection of mur murder memorabilia. How did uh, mobster John Gotti die? Well, ladies and gentlemen, he wasn't stabbed to death. He didn't die in a hail of bullets. He actually died of cancer in the hospital um, penitentiary um, wing. So he died of cancer. So the correct answer is B. My dad was a Marine. Played the trombone in the Marine Corps band. Well, wow, that's cool. My ASP really is uh, naval equipment. Oh, really? That's cool. All right. Question number 14. How many children committed suicide, and that's in quotes, at the People's Temple um, in the um, act led by Jim Jones? How many, you know, suicide, how many children committed suicide? Obviously, you know, that's it, they say that the you know these children died. They died by suicide because they drank the you know the, the um, flavor aid you know um, drink with cyanide in it. But did the children actually do it of their own free will? No, they were talked into it, pressured into it. But how many was it? A one hundred twenty-eight. B three hundred and four. C one hundred and nine. Or D ninety-three. Not all the members of the People's Temple died that day. 
Some of them didn't die. They they left um, the compound and did, decided not to commit suicide. Other ones were still here in the in the United States and had not joined or gone to you know Ganya uh, with uh, Jim Jones and the and the rest of of the People's Temple. They did not all die that day. Agree with you, Smith. Shoes. They did um, absolutely nothing. So sad. <laughs> right? It's not even good Kool Aid knockoff. Every time my grandmother brought grape flavor um, aid, I threw it away. <laughs> Didn't want any, any damn Jonestown punch. <laughs> really? Well, I guess if you want to be safe. Going with the crowd on this one, B. Joshua, good evening, Joshua. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Welcome to Trivia Night. All right. Um, the correct answer uh, for the crowd is B as in boy, 304. 304 children under the age of 18. 304. Yeah. Yeah. That happened. Jumpstown made an impression on me. I still remember watching the live news when um when you you were two. Nineteen year old woman slept through the entire Jonestown massacre. Woke up and every everyone was dead. I didn't know that. That would be scary as hell. All right. Question number fifteen. Were we on 15? What was 14? I'm on the wrong page here, trying to scroll back. Get over there, stupid thing. Yeah, all right. So question number 15. What bizarre trophy did Ted Bundy collect from some of his victims and keep until he was caught? Was it A, hair, B, state-issued IDs, C, clothing, or D, lipstick? One alive. I read it probably 20 years ago. It was a, sh a short book. I'm going to have to look, look for that. Language of Horses. Good evening and welcome to True Crime Trivia tonight. We're playing Killer Edition. We are on question number 15 of 30. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. I'm glad you could be here with us tonight. Got to look that one up too, Cement Shoes. Language of horses. What did Ted Bundy collect as a trophy from some of his victims? And it it's actually very common for serial killers to keep, you know, some kind of trophy from each and every one of their, their victims. Because every time they see it and they hold it, 
smell it or something, they relive that entire, you know, experience over again through that actual trophy. Very common. Not every every serial killer has kept trophies, but a vast majority of them have some some type of uh, memento that they've kept either, you know, and like in this case, one of these items or, you know, um, you know, it can be every, you know, different things, you know. There is no rhyme or reason why they keep some things and what some some items they don't. Didn't Ted keep heads? Pippa Dot? He did. He most certainly did. Blissed off, though. Pippa Dot. You know, he had Bundy, Bundy actually killed um, and, and some of his victims and decapitated them. Uh, the, in the in the book uh, with uh, his what wife, right? Um, she talks. She talked about you know that he 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 had um, a fascination with with you know um, women's heads. Norman Bates kept heads. <laughs> I feel sorry for Anthony Perkins, man. Brilliant actor, but he got pigeonholed into, um, you know, the, the typecast as that as that type of character after the, you know Psycho for so long. The finger. All right. What did Bundy keep as a trophy? The correct answer is D, as in dog lipstick. He went back to his victims um, over and over again. Until their bodies had decayed to the point where he, it wasn't um, satisfying for him to go back, he would brush their hair, uh, reapply makeup to the victims, and yes, he performed uh, um, uh, different acts with the, each and every victim. So he was a strange man, to say the least. All right, question number 16. How did Pablo Escobar make his vast fortune? And Pablo is on here because he's also a mass murderer, but how did he make his fortune? Was it A, human trafficking, B, drug smuggling, C, illegal bogus sports cards, or D, porn movies? Okie dokie. Good evening. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, okie dokie. Thank you for joining us tonight. Put makeup on the head. He, he would brush their hair. He'd uh, reapply lipstick. And he, he'd keep on... That's how he helped them... Um, the FBI um, formed the actual profile for um, Gary Ridgway. And he, he, he point blank told him, look, there are three things you got to do. When you find the next victim, do not touch that body. He knows everything about that body and, and everything around that body. Don't touch it because he's going to come back. He basically gave them the profile of himself to the you know the FBI and said this is how you're going to catch the you know the Green River killer and he helped him out, out from prison and said look this is what he's going to do this is how he's doing it this is what he's going to do next good evening Stephanie Fisher it's a crying shame It's only thing I don't like about the um, the using restream versus uh, um, YouTube streaming directly on YouTube is there there I haven't been able to figure out yet how to slow down the um, the actual um, comment section. I mean, I figured out how to block and hide and, and time people out and do all that all that good stuff, but 
I haven't figured out how to like set the latency yet. Why, why did I cut my hair? How did Pablo Escobar make his fortune, ladies and gentlemen? It was B as in boy, drug smuggling. But he was, he's on this list because he was also a mass murderer. He killed hundreds of people or had hundreds of people, you know, murdered so he could grow his, his drug empire. He got rid of people. They were in the way. You either were with them or you weren't. Okay, question number 17. Did Ted Bundy ever confess to actual murder? Yes, A, yes he did. B, no, he never confessed to any murder. C, he would never use the word murder. Or D, he placed blame on Elmo for all of the murders. Never understood why? Cessna, the, um, for what uh, Gary Ridgway said was he, he went back to his victims over and over again because he got to relive the excitement of that experience. And it, it was the only way he could, he could become sexually aroused to the point where he could actually, you know, feel something. He said it was like, you know, Going back, you knew you shouldn't be there, but the excitement of all of it at the same time was more than he, he couldn't uh, stop doing it. And he would go back to his victims over and over and over again, again just like Bundy, until the body had, been, had degraded to the point where he just couldn't be there anymore with the body. But Ridgeway, you know, some of the of his victims, he would he would pose them in such a way. So they looked natural and he, some of them, he just, he'd go out into the woods or wherever he dumped them at. And he would act you know, along the, you know, the, um, the river, you know, apparently, obviously, but, um, and he, sometimes he would just lay down next to him because he wanted to, he wanted to be there close to him and be connected with him still. When it comes to why they all do it, I don't think there's a definite answer for everyone, but there is some kind of sexual motivation, you know, um, and satisfaction behind going back to um, their victims. E, he blamed Cookie Monster. <laughs> Did Ted Bundy ever confess to actual murder? Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch. <laughs> All right. The answer to, to question number 17, ladies and gentlemen, is yes. A, he actually did go, he did confess to murder. He had no problem using the word murder. I see a lot of people actually, you know, we're guessing C. Um, he, he confessed to 30, 30 murders total. But you know he he confessed to it, but he he, he always you know, kind of kept that carrot dangling out there because he thought if he if as long as he you know he had these other cases that he said he he may have committed that they were never going to execute him. But yeah, he 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 guessed wrong with the governor of uh, Florida, and that one. 
you basically trying to bluff him, you know, into not to, uh, giving him a stay of execution. But they, they they took him to the you know Friday's butt. Are you sure Big Bird's not uh, playing dumb? <laughs> Ted needed a Snickers bar. <laughs> he did. All right. Um, question number eighteen. What Boston murderer killed 19 people, then with the help of an insider with the FBI, went on the run for 16 years? Was it A, George Nelson, B, George Siegel, C, Whitey Bulger, or D, White, George Whiteface Bulger? It wasn't the Cookie Monster. It was the um, Necro Nookie Monster. <laughs> the Necro Nookie Monster. <laughs> Cooked his cookie. <laughs> what murderer went on the run for 16 years? <laughs> George Foreman. <laughs> He's a moron. He couldn't could have cut a deal and been done. Been reading fan mail right now from all the serial killer fans. They offered him life. Wolness should have uh, been given life. Yeah, I you know out of all the serial killers out there, you know, they have spree killers and stuff like that. I always felt bad for Elaine. You know. I, <laughs> She had no chance at all, you know, to have an, a normal life of any any type at all. From the day that she the day that she was born, you know, until the day that she died, somebody was using her for something or abusing her. Ferris Bueller, 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 Bueller. <laughs> Fry, fry. <laughs> Love George Siegel, the actor. Doki's going with C, Whitey Bulger. Got a bunch of C's actually. Poor Elmo. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're in agreement there, Cement Shoes. I don't think that, I don't think she, you know, executing her was ever going. It didn't solve really anything at all. Yeah, she she did. She definitely committed some horrific crimes. But and you have to look at the total totality of, of the case and what you know, and her and what happened to her, you know, during her life. All right, question number 18. What Boston murder killed 19 people then with the help of an insider from the FBI went on the run for 16 years? The correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is C, as in cat. Whitey Bulger went on the run for 16 years. Question number 19. Adam Lanza used what item to commit murders? Was it A, bombs, B, guns, C, ropes, or D, knives? Adam Lanza. Should have fried it, a child um, predator instead of some hard hard luck sex worker who took out um, some dirt, dirty old men. A Bushmaster M4A3.
these. Jess is going with D. Stoned at Domer is actually spelling out the make and model. Diana Bowman is going with B. Adam Lanza used what item to commit murder? The correct answer to question number 19 is B, as in boy, guns. Tragic of series of events there. Question number 20. Wild Wild West. America seen lots of criminals. What crimes was Tom Horn known for? Was it A, arson, B, bank robbery, C, murder, or D, cheating at gambling? Still can't believe Casey Anthony got away with it. All the gators in Florida. Why, why can't one find her? <laughs> She's a real piece of work, isn't she? <sighs> loitering. <laughs> loitering. Cowboys, serial killer, yeehaw. It's a crying shame. I don't know. She should have uh, gotten an orange suit um, and a needle for what she did. To Kaylee, Kylie, no idea. Wild, wild West America seen a lot of criminals. What crime? Was Tom Horn known for? Mario, good evening, sir. This is the best place to lurk. Well, I hope you had a wonderful weekend, Mario. Did a gator get Brian Laundry? I don't think they've said yet what exactly what what you know the final outcome was. I mean, I would not be surprised if if Brian Laundry killed himself and then animals just. You know, did whatever they wanted with his body. Kelly should have been should be driving age right now. Yeah. Kaylee. But no. She had to have that lady as her mom. All right. What was Tom Horn known for? The correct answer is murder. C, as in cat, is the correct answer. Murder. Very well known. In case you all don't know about who Tom Horn is. Very interesting read. <coughs> all right. Who was Butch Cassidy's partner? Was it A, the Sundance Kid? B, Mary Poppins, C, Barney Bellwit, or D, Two Shot McQuick? Who was Butch Cassidy's partner? <laughs> Shh. 
Cheryl Hamilton, good evening. Just checking in to say hello, Will. Good, good to see you. Looks like you're you're doing well. Yeah. Thank you, Cheryl. I'm I'm doing the best I can right now. Um, you know, the pain pain in my knee is still still there, but the swelling and um and the discomfort overall is starting to go down. But it's going to take time to um, recover from it from it all. Uh, I think that right at about it's going to be like close to six months before I'm back to um, total um, health, health wise. I got to go out to the golf course yesterday and drive my golf cart around. Can't golf, but I got to drive it around. Kind of funny because me and my friend, she had um, surgery on her hand and she's got like this metal contraption on her hand because they had to break the bone and then reset her finger. So she can't golf. So we were just chauffeurs. We we drove people around and, and you know who were who were golfing, and we just kind of watched them golf. Raindrops keep falling on your head, Starfire. It's a great song. Hi, mom. Who is Butch Cassidy's partner? The correct answer, ladies and gentlemen, is A, the Sundance Kid. Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. That's not there. Um, anything, anything wrong with that? Oh. Question number 22. What was John Bonet Ramsey's middle name? Was it A, Catherine, B, Sue, C, Patricia, or D, Phyllis? What was John Bonet Ramsey's middle name? You want two shot as your middle name, Mario? Yeah, good, good, you know, um, middle name. And he's a re he was a real um, gunslinger. Two shot McQuick. He was a real, real gunslinger in um, in the Tucson, Arizona area in the Wild West. I have no idea how he got his actual name. I mean. I'm and just knowing that he was a, um, a well known in the in the Tucson area, in folklore, you know, the, you know what what was real, what fantasized, you know, it's kind of hard to tell, you know, what really you know was the history of the time and, and some of the people who lived there. Wasn't there a movie Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? Yeah, um, Paul Newman. Always thought it was Benet. I'm hmm, going to go with C. I have no idea on this one. Yeah, it did. I actually um, was when I got this question. I put put on you know putting it in for this. There were a lot of people who actually thought that her, that John was her first name, Benet was her middle name, and then Ramsey was her last name. I got this. I got this one off of actual Reddit. I was like, wow, people. Has anybody ever seen a picture of her headstone? Her grave marker has her ma her name on it. How did John Bonet die, Stephanie? Well, she was murdered in the basement of their home. 
who did it. I have my suspicions, but I can't prove it. We don't need no stinking batches. I don't know. How did Jumbin and die? She was murdered. All right. Question number 22. How, what is John Bonnet Ramsey's uh, middle name? The, the correct answer is C as in cat. Patricia. Definitely, in my opinion, only someone in the house killed her. Well, there certainly, Pipitot, there certainly wasn't any real evidence that pointed to that it was anybody outside of the home. And the only people who were in the home was mom, dad, and her brother. Those are the only people who were inside the home. It had to be one of the three, if we look at the, just those who were in the house itself. The ransom letter and all that was faked. So. Yep, John Benet Patricia Ramsey. Talk about exploitation of a child. I've never, I've never liked, you know, beauty pageants like that for children. I just, I just find it sick. All right, question number twenty-three. Which of the following killers ultimately turned himself in? Was it A. Scripps, B. Bundy, C. Kemper, or D. Raider? Which one of these ultimately turned himself in? I would, I'd, I'd say Pippa Dot, but you know, right now uh, they're they're still fighting out the legal battles. I mean, uh, just the brother himself. I mean, he's filed what three lawsuits, you know, against uh, different media outlets that uh, um, that have called him the um, the murderer or said that he did it. I know he sued, you know, TMZ. And he's suing, you know, um, like uh, Entertainment Tonight and like the, you know, the parent companies. I'm just not going to get involved in it. You know, I don't want to catch any flack from anybody. Or tomorrow afternoon, you know, get a, you know a, a takedown notice for my video because I, you know, I, I called out the wrong person. I don't have any proof of it. I just have a suspicion of on one person. This is why we all are interested in Ed Kemper. BD pensions need to be abolished or moved to consenting adults of 18 and over. They're outdated and disgusting. <clears throat> I know I know an actual lady, um, Jenny, that actually did this with her own daughter. And it was when she was when she was a younger child, when she, you know, um, under the age of 10, she was a heavier child. And so she never was able to do things like this herself, like beauty pageants and talent shows. She just didn't think that she would ever have any chance. And she had really poor, she, to this day, even as an adult, she has really poor self-esteem. But when her daughter was born, she lived vicariously through her daughter. She got her daughter involved in all the things that she thought that she missed out on beauty pageants and you know um you know marching band or whatever it might have been it was tap dance acting classes she lit she made her she forced her daughter to do these things and her daughter had no interest in them at all but she did it you know because these are the things that she wanted to do when she was younger 
and it was really sad to watch the parent, you know, live that way, and, you know, and interact with her child that way. Ed Kemper is 74 now and doesn't talk or write um, to anyone. Banana tea is really smooth. I've never had banana tea, Mario. That sounds interesting. I, my family is huge uh, tea drinkers, but I've never I've never had that. That matter of fact, I I, I drink so little tea. Um, I, I just the other day I had um. I can't what was it? It was like a um a chocolate, chocolate tea. And it really did taste like chocolate. It was like a mint chocolate tea. I think it was black tea, but I'm not sure. I actually didn't make it. My wife made it for me. It is okie dokie. It's extremely messed up. <laughs> you know, Stephanie doesn't trust anybody named Patsy. Well, I wouldn't trust her. Um, I I trust uh, Patsy Klein. I would have trusted her. It'll help you sleep. Yeah, well, that, that, that's the, the the chocolate the chocolate mint tea. That's why uh, um, I took that with. Um, well, my medication, but um, it, it it doesn't. I know it, if if it's black tea, it doesn't. That's the one that doesn't have caffeine in it, right? I'm so lost on this stuff, so trust me. But they they buy it um in in loose form, loose leaf tea, and then they have like their tea balls or they, those little strainer things that go in a coffee cup, you know, to then you pour the hot water through it and it let it seep. So it was pretty good. I might actually try it again in the future. I liked it. All tea has caffeine. Well, I didn't think this stuff had caffeine in it because that's why they it's a nighttime tea. Well, maybe it maybe it has a small trace amount compared to what normal tea is. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a tea drinker. I mean, I'll I'll drink, you know, three four pots of coffee a day. And I do, trust me, every day. You drink tea every day, Sketty Nona? They, they get to, um, that's actually the actual name of the company is Loose Leaf um, Tea Company. It, they, they get a monthly subscription box. And they, they send them, I, I think there's like six or seven different teas, or maybe there's eight different teas. I, I've never actually looked at it, to tell you the truth. I just know it's a box shows up on my porch and I just set it on the on the the bureau next to the front door. <laughs> so but they get they they get the tea that way. We have we have a local tea company but they've been closed because of COVID. All right. <clears throat> Which of the following killers ultimately turned himself in? The correct answer is C Kemper. Kemper turned himself in. I'm talking about tea, but there's flowers and all kinds of things you can pour hot water over. Oh, yeah. It, Kellen, it doesn't, uh, but it's, uh, it's a flower. I wonder, I wonder if they're about, about that banana tea, though. It sounds good. I'm willing to try it. All right, question number 24. Who did the son of Sam claim to receive orders to kill from? <coughs> Was it his brother, a dog, a cat, or a TV show? Terrific ribs from five menus. I don't place today. Had a fantastic weekend. Ooh. That sounds good. Tea was, tea was a godsend when I quit sodas. Worked great for years, then stopped. Then well, after it went flying by. Worked for years, then Dr. Pepper came came back into your life. 
that's my, that's my wife's uh, um, uh, flavor of soda, Dr. Pepper. She, she drinks uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. It's a crying shame with a bunch of doggies. It's a crying shame with more doggies. B, 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 B. Got one C up there. B, B, B. But a lot of people are thinking it's a dog. How can a dog tell you to commit murder? Thought I was going to have to have to go to Betty Ford to get off Diet Coke. <laughs> oh, yeah, we want to talk about addiction to soda, Cessna. You know, see my mother-in-law, she's been drinking Diet Pepsi for so long. I mean, she goes to about a, a two liter a day. But damn, man. It is not pretty to watch because she first she gets like the you know the serious headaches and stuff like that for if she doesn't have any at all. It's not good. She's really addicted to that diet Pepsi. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper Zero. We don't drink a lot of soda in my house. Coffee, tea, juice, and a lot of water. Um, we 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 buy milk occasionally for for baking, um, but we don't. You know, people don't drink milk here in my house. Who did the son of Sam claim to receive orders to kill from? cats I'm sure I'm sure you know, my cat is, is given orders to kill <laughs> my bogey my cat's name is bogey like golfing term for one over par is a called it's called a bogey well that's what I named my cat my cat's name is bogey dr. pepper from Waco Texas Chai tea. Well, I'm sure we have a lot of chai tea in the house. A lot. All right. The answer to this one is B, a dog. A dog, he said, gave him the orders to kill. Question number 25. This is question 25 is always a Morrissey question. What killer was a big fan of the band The Smiths? Was it A, Christian Longo, B, Charles Manson, C, Jeffrey Dahmer, or D, Jim Jones? E, no, it was a cookie monster. <laughs> Here in Texas, we refer to Waco as Wacko. Don't ask me why. You crave the fizz? I signed a petition last week to have Texas... What? I signed a petition last week to have Texas change... Their state drink to Dr. Pepper. Is it that popular in Texas? I prefer Thai tea, tea bags, but it comes in liquid and international coffee tins too. Huh, you know that. And they get the they get the monthly subscription. There's always some kind of you know chai tea in there. The, the teas that they, they get, they're from all over the world. Some of those damn teas can get really expensive. I mean, really expensive. What, what's a shiner? 
Heck yeah, Dr. Pepper is. Dr. Pepper and Shiner. I don't know what Shiner is. Don't um, like uh, Stash brand G. Chai tea. You guys do well with no soda? I, I don't drink soda. I, I once in it once in a great while I will drink um, a, a Mountain Dew. Once in a great while. I think I've had um, one this year. But otherwise I don't drink um, soda at all. Because I have gout and um, and you don't drink uh, soda with uh, if you if you suffer from gout, it just don't do it. Sh Shiner Bach, what I don't know what that is. It's a beer. Oh wow, Texas. You're frugal. Hmm. I've never heard of it. Never heard of Shiner beer. Lone Star. I've heard of that. That yeah, my uncle used to drink Lone Star when when I I used to go visit him. I I've, I've never heard of it. Shiner Bach. Well, all right, the answer to question number 25 is A, Christian Longo was a big Smiths fan. He is currently incarcerated in the state of Oregon. Question number 26, E, Will Smith. <laughs> you got it right, Lieutenant RM. What chilling name was given to contact killer Richard Kulowski? Kulowski. Kulowski. Was it A, Mr. Claus, B, the Iceman, C, Mr. Dream, or D, Mr. Ice? What was the chilling name given to contact killer Richard Kulowski? Who said that? Somebody somebody posted on Reddit. I, I I only have 26 members on my Reddit, my subreddit. But they say I now have enough people to form my own baseball team. <laughs> if I didn't know this one, I, I should be kicked off YouTube forever. <laughs> Did anyone hear about him possibly being a big fibber? Mm. Can't say I have. Or can you? <laughs> Some issues. Uh, well, the the answer to question number twenty six is B, as in boy, the Ice Man. Mountain Dew is like battery acid. Eh, I like the flavor of it. I think it it, it has that it has that flavor that, that kind of like rem, I don't like the you know the code reds and all these blues and, and all these other ones. That, just the regular original Mountain Dew. But like I said, I have like one maybe two a year, if that. And I've had one this year already. 
All right. China is really big in Texas. I, I, I'm going to have to look into that and see if I, we have a, um, we have a, a store here locally where I live. It's actually a, it's a town over from, from where I live, but they get beers from all over the United States. Um, they, they're a distributor, um, a place where, you know, and that's all they, they specialize in. It's like, Hey, here's beers from Alabama that more regional beers from, from those areas or different parts of the United States. I'm sure they could probably get it, but I've just never heard of it. The Iceman. Yep. All right. Where's, the, where's my cursor? There it is. Question number 27. Iconic. What iconic TV game show did Rodney Alclay appear on during his crime spree? A, Wheel of Fortune. B, Whose Line Is It Anyways? C, The Dating Game. Or D, a love connection. And the hint for this one is, it's not, we will be back in two and two. Oh, that's just flying by. Where's my cursor? There it is. FBI agents were talking about it and how some of what he claimed just wasn't true, wasn't possible, but the way he described it was incor incorrect or something. I'll try to look it up, uh, the documentary, and send. Thank you. Please do. I, I always found it, you know, interesting, you know, the, of his. He had two totally separate lives. He had that hitman, you know, in the killer part of his life, and then he had you know, what to the rest of the, what looked like to the rest of the world, a pretty normal life from the, uh, on the other side. He died in 2007. E, the match game. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Look at his thumbnail. Fun fact. His date decided not to go out with him because he was creepy. <laughs> yeah. Rotary dial. Good evening. Welcome to the to the true crime trivia. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Don't tell anybody at C. I've learned I've learned some really interesting things about the Wheel of Fortune, Pat Sajak and Vanna White. Did y'all know that they used to get loaded before recording? Before the recording of the uh, Wheel of Fortune, the two of them used to you know take uh, um, shots of straight alcohol before going out out to um, actually do the show. Pat Sajak never wanted to host the Wheel of Fortune. Never wanted to. He actually wanted to be the host of uh, the, uh, I think it was like a rebranding of uh, um, another game show, kind of like Who's Line and Was It Anyways? You know, but it was like that part, um, Who's Line Was It? And it was like mixed with kind of like a gong show. But the, the show never actually um, went on to air. They shot like two demos of it, and he wanted to be the host of that. But he never wanted to be the, the host of Wheel of Fortune, and everybody remembers him for him. What iconic TV game show did Rodney Alkai appear on during his crime spree? The correct answer is C, as in cat. C, as in cat, the dating game. 
I knew Vanna wasn't as as pure as she she seemed. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Yeah. All right. Question number twenty eight. What type of animal did Joe Ball allegedly feed his victims to? Was it A, alligators, B, pigs, C, cows, or D, raccoons? What type of animal did Joe Ball allegedly feed his victims' bodies to? <coughs> Excuse me. Good evening, S. Singleton. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. We're almost done with the with the, the trivia questions for tonight, but you can watch and rewind if you want to watch the rest of them. But I hope you had a great weekend. Dr. Iceman, where they interviewed the FBI agent, and the agent didn't believe I am, did as much as he, as he claimed. And her peas is going with, is that a cow? <laughs> cow, cow? E, cow? Well, cow is C. Are you saying it's a pig? A unicorn? Stephanie Fisher is going with a unicorn. <laughs> he fed him to a unicorn. I saw I saw a joke, a comic, about the, um, that there was no, no arc, and you know, and how how they 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 ran out of uh, um, food, so they they cooked and ate the last unicorn on the Noah's Ark. That's why there's no unicorns left, because they they had to eat something for dinner. There was no food left on the on the you know for their journey, so they're like, sorry. That's why there's no unicorns. So they ate them. What's that? Uh, you got my attention now. Um, all right, I'll scroll up for and find Cement Shoes comment. Killer of HBO documentary. It's on YouTube, but it's edited. Stephanie Fisher's, I believe it's unicorn. <laughs> All right, question number 28. What type of animal did Joe Ball allegedly feed his victims' bodies to? The correct answer is A, alligators. Alligators. Tw question number 29. What nickname was given to the uncaught San Francisco criminal who sketched victims before killing them? Is A, the artist, B, the painter, C, the master, or D, the doodler? He's good at that unicorn. <laughs> I don't know. Never had unicorn. Never ate horse either. Never had anything like that, you know, zebra, unicorn. Horse, donkey, none of that. I've never eaten any of that, 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 that kind of meat. I know it's very popular in other parts of the world. I saw one with uh, um, Anthony Bourdain. I think he was in um, Malaysia or someplace or the Andes. I can't remember where he was exactly at the time, but they ate, they ate a horse. Well, he didn't eat the whole horse. I mean, but he ate a, a meal that was made of horse meat. Will Confessions of a Killer 
on HBO is a doc um, talked about earlier um, of the Iceman was a big fibber. Okay. I I don't have HBO, but like I I saw that he said it, it, or somebody said it was on YouTube, but it's edited. I'll check. I'll see if I can find it. D, but it sounds like a Batman character. You've eaten a full of baby baby horse. I have not. I've eaten other, you know, um, strange animals. Like you know, what, what people would you know, consider strange. I mean, I've definitely I've had alligator. I've eaten snake, uh, rattlesnake, ones that we actually killed ourselves. Um, I've had bobcat. Uh, say so not what deer, elk, uh, mountain goat, goat. Uh, I don't, I don't really consider most of those, you know, um, exotic or strange animals. But I've never had like elephant or anything else you know, that's not no, normal. Well, they found in the wild of North America. Eating a lot of different things over the over time, but I just never eaten anything like that. That's snake, rabbit, gator, all the all the things. Now my buddy has a has a cabin, and we had a um a huge huge issue with uh, rattlesnakes that uh, that popped up. Um, it, it actually made a den. Um, in an area that was kind of just off a game trail that we, you know, um, it was a hunting cabin. It's, he still has it. We just, we haven't been back since the stupid COVID, you know, crap has happened. But we, we had to get rid of the entire den of rattlesnakes. And there was probably 20, 30 of them in there. I can't remember. There was a lot of them. A lot of, a lot of snakes. But we caught, caught them all. Chopped their heads off, um, gutted them, and then put them on the on the barbecue and ate them. Taste tastes kind of like chicken. It's actually not that bad. Rocky Mountain oysters. Yeah, that's something I'm not gonna be doing. <laughs> I'm not eating no Rocky Mountain oysters. Robert Pickton, who fed uh, hookers to pigs. Yeah, Pickton. That is true. Pickton definitely did that. All right. What what nickname was getting to the given to the uncaught San Francisco criminal who sketched victims before killing them? The correct answer is D, the doodler. Yes, I know it sounds like a Batman, you know, um, villain, but they called it they called it the doodler. The doodler killer, because that's what he did. He, he sketched and made uh, pictures of his victims before killing them, but never caught. Everything tastes like chicken if you if you fry it right. <laughs> did you keep the skin and make make things? We did. No, blissed. No, we had so many of them. We I think we just threw them into a bonfire. You know, we usually have a you know a kind of a bonfire like fire pit there. Yeah, it's got chairs and stuff that are all around it, and we just throw throw all the trash and stuff in there and burn it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where where this you know, skins went. We burnt probably burned them. Um, I know the the um, like the guts. We didn't throw the guts, you know, and the remains. So you know that that part. We took all that um, down to the river, and we threw it into the actual river itself. Welcome, Haley. Harley, sorry, Harley 62. Sorry, not Haley. Harley, there's a Harley. Welcome. I hope you had a wonderful week. All right, question number 30. Thank you for being here. 
We're almost done with the questions for tonight, but you can watch and rewind. Who was the ringleader behind the death of Sandra Shear? Was A, Janet Mc McCready, B, Melinda Loveless, C, Hope Ripley, or D, Hope Solo? The Green River? Uh, Green, the Green River is about 325 miles from me. Now we, we threw the um, the remain the innards of the um, of the snakes. We threw it into the Columbia. My personal um, choice is like uh, lentils. You like lentils, but I live in a in, in an area. There's, they they farm a lot a lot of lentils here. A lot of lentils. That and you know, baked uh, well, baker potatoes and uh, um, fried potatoes that they make French fries out of. Got to go to bed past midnight for me. Night off. Thanks, Will. Good night, Jess. You have a wonderful week. Janet Jackson. <laughs> I have no issue with anything people eat. To each their own. People eat what they like. But we, they, speaking of lentil, so they have a huge lentil festival, um, and just outside of uh, Pullman, Washington, they, every year they have the the lentil festival. Arlie sixty two A, I'm guessing. Mm, get some bays, some bees. Yeah, it's a little bit of every, they have um they have like crafts and they have a, a fair, fairground there so they have like vendors that do crafts and all kinds of different things you know lentil soups and you, know, you can buy different foods with different with lentils in it. My mother in law makes a pasta salad and she puts um, lentils in it. I never get any because my you know my family is a well they're mean. They always eat it before I get a chance to eat it. <clears throat> she makes a tub of it for my daughter, and my daughter will sit down and she'll eat just nothing but that. <clears throat> but if I, excuse me, all right. Yep. The correct answer was B. Melinda Loveless. No idea. Tell me um, about this one. Shan, I, I I don't know too much about the case itself. I have never I've never researched it. Um, rotary dial. Well, I'll share lentils with you. <laughs> Lentil festival sounds like uh, we're running out of out of festivals. Not that there's uh, anything wrong with that. No, they they had this lentil festival um, in her peas for. I want to say close to 40 years they've been having this this lentil festival. It's not even anything new. It's just um, you know it, it, you have to kind of keep an eye in mind with it, the area where it's at. There's nothing really around that area for about 75 miles in any direction you might drive. So it's kind of an isolated you know, isolated community. So it's just farmers. Uh, and people, you know, within that community, didn't they have a festival every year that happened to be the lentil festival? Is what they call it? There's a lot of lentils that are, are that are that are actually grown in that area. We have a rice festival not too far from you. 
I love the rice balls that they have, sausage and cheese rolled um, into baseball-sized ball, then rolled in rice and seasoned. Ooh, that sounds good. Hey, crazy kids, I got to crash. You have a good night. Thank you for coming in and playing with us tonight, Stone Domer. You stay safe out there and have a terrific week ahead. Tulip Festival. There's a I know there's a tulip festival up by Bellingham. Bellingham, Washington. I know they have a it, I don't know where, where it's at exactly, but I think it's up there by Bellingham. They have a tulip festival. Kentucky oysters? What Rocky Mountain oysters? I'm gonna I'm gonna I wrote it down, Mario. I'm gonna look for that. Banana tea. It sounds interesting. It really does. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find find it, you know, or if they can get it through that their tea company that they, they order from. New friends. I've, I've never actually been to the tulip festival i've been there in the in the area when they had it um bellingham washington the only thing, reason why i ever i've ever been there was because i had a friend who um that's where the um eastern washington um university is i had a friend who was going to college there Here I am. I'm trying to figure out how to turn the stupid thing off. B, it's not. Very clever, Will. <laughs> but very relaxed. Well, hello, okie dokie. I, you know, I, I just got this camera. I, the only thing I don't like about it is if I move, you can watch it and see it go like that, where it, it's jumping back and forth focus wise. It's it's trying to focus on I me. Mean, I have to learn how to, you know, the settings on it. But this is uh, 2K Ultra. Set you to put your banana. Yeah, we can see you now. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play with it all tomorrow. Before I before I go ahead and shoot my video for this week, well, or any of the videos for this week. So you finished 16 to 30, Cessna? Or 15, 15 to 30? That's, that's pretty good. Uh, I'm, I'm Out of the, these 30, I probably knew oh, about 22 or so. Right in there, I'd, I'd say out of the 30. I knew the answers to. Um, some weeks, though, I only know, I mean, before I put the list together and I put, you know, put them together in this format to, See, we see them on the screen. 
I probably, you know, most weeks I only know about 10 or so right in there, 10 to 12. But some of them, I, you know, it, I'm just blown away by the question and the answers themselves. Because I've got hundreds of these things written out on paper. I, I just have to take them off of the paper and actually put them in the format so we can see them on the screen. Now, I hope you guys like this new format, you know, how it's actually on the screen. I'm eventually going to get it so I'm not this little tiny window so we can do the 50-50 or a larger, you know, um, version of it so in a larger picture instead of a tiny little thumbnail. But it takes time. We we'll can't wait to for you to release a sharing tape video. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't, wouldn't. I'm hoping uh, I, I'll get. I'll find the time to get it done. Cement shoes. It's just one of those things where you know, like the last year, year and a half or so, I keep on saying I'm going to get it done, and I have. I haven't made any progress on it at all. So. But I know I have the I have the file I have the video I've got the pictures and all the other supporting documentation for it for it. You know, I actually had my wife go with me and help me shoot the uh, video footage for it. But hopefully, hopefully I will get it done soon. Well, thank you, Harley. I appreciate it. Night, X, S. Singleton. You have a great week ahead. Apparently, you can make a banana tea boiling water over sliced banana peels and all strained and enjoy high, high in magnesium and potassium. Oh. Does Trent Reznor still live in that house? Um, well, I don't. I don't know what house particularly you're speaking of. Um, are you make the, the connection to um, Sharon Tate? Uh, he 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 never lived in that house, but the front doors of the house are um, on his recording studio, and that would be. Um, Interscope uh, Records. He actually has the front doors from the Tate House home. But, you know, that, that might sound weird and bizarre, but it ain't nothing compared to some of the, you know, the macabre things that, like, Jack White, you know, um, the musician, who, you know, him and his, his first wife uh, had, you know, the um, White Stripes. But... He's got some really bizarre things. It was ghoulish that he kept the front door. They had um, written in her blood on that on that door. Yeah. Will, have you ever seen the movie Valley of the Dolls? Yes, I have. Sharon Tate was in it. Yes, I have definitely seen the movie. He sold it and it was torn down. Yeah. Well, he may have bought it, but I don't think I don't think the house is there anymore. I think they tore the whole thing down. Marilyn Manson supposedly has Gacy Pogo painting. Well, I wouldn't doubt that. I mean, that again, Manson's kind of a. I don't want to say he's a freak. I mean, you have to understand a lot of like you know the, what people see out there of uh, the image of Manson and some of these other people like him. It's more for show than it is anything else. It's like, it's their image. But apparently he, he you know, he's kind of an asshole um, besides that, but doesn't mean he doesn't make good m music or music that people enjoy. Just, you know, some people can't, they, they've lose that line between reality and uh, um, the alter ego that they're supposed to be, you know, portraying. the end when she was yelling in the in the alley I 
I had to give instructions to the hairstylist on how to cut my hair. She was astonished that, that she had never um, heard of that style. <laughs> really? Chinese skeleton? I couldn't even sleep in the house with the skeleton in it. What was it? Uh, it was in Las Vegas. It used to be a strip mall. Then it turned. Then some guy bought it, and it, he would with the the idea to turn it into a museum. And they were there to uh, shoot like a video for um, I can't remember the name of it, but it was it was kind of like um, uh, these flippers. They they buy things and then they they start off with one item and they sell it to try to get, you know, or work or barter or trade to a, you know, to get to a larger item. Um, and they were there to shoot like this episode of that show with, with this guy, you know, they were making a trade with him and they, there was a, um, what they thought was a, um, a TV prop, you know, or, you know, um, for the old West, they bump, bumped into it and they found out that it was a, it was a human being. That had been mummified and wrapped up, you know, to look like it, you know, um, this old west cowboy. But the guy wasn't even a cowboy. That was real, and people they had been sitting in this stupid museum, and nobody knew it was, it was a real human being. Um, no, not American pickers. I it it's uh. Barter Brothers or something like that. The one the one guy has like Tourette's. I don't even know if it's still on television or not anymore. But American Pickers, that's uh, they've been around for a while. They they have that they made a deal with uh, Jack White to um, acquire. The uh, stuffed head that he has. Well, thank you, Sasta, for being here. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and stay safe out there. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you again for everybody for stopping in and playing tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up, you know, quickly if you know if you enjoyed the content. If not, make sure you you click that thumbs down button twice. Move my stupid leg off this off the stool. Anyone here? Um, here a. Egg Wardo? No. Batch cooked. Ooh. Shall I go over to her house? My wife actually made cookies today. I haven't even had one yet. Probably all gone by the time I get in the house, huh? But again, everyone, thank you again. You stay safe out there, and thank you for being, for being here. Bye, Will. It's so sweet to say. You all stay safe out there. Well, I, I believe it, and I, I, I mean it. I hope everyone st you know, stays safe out there and has a happy week ahead. Didn't actually lurk. No, nope. Mario, I appreciate you being here with us. You have a great week, sir. Thank you again, everyone.